spring fall and KCSO Deputy Philip Compass and the other lives lost Sunday continued tonight as the community came together from various cities for candlelight vigils. 23 ABC's Kylie Walker reports it was an emotional night for many from first responders and public officials to those who knew the victims. Things like this are not supposed to happen in Wasco. Five people dead. Things like this are not supposed to happen anywhere. District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer is looking back to the hostage situation that turned deadly in Wasco on Sunday, prompting the community to gather for a local candlelight vigil on Tuesday to remember those lives. You know, my first instinct was, man, he can make it out of there. Come on, I hope it's not him. You know, all those things went into my head. And I find out it was him in the house, and then we end up losing him. Juan Gallardo, the Wasco High wrestling coach, is talking about his former student athlete, Joe, the 24-year-old man who was one of the three family members killed by his father. It's just the rest of the community shocked. I can only imagine how difficult it must have been in the last minutes of those victims' lives to perish at the hands of the person that was supposed to be protecting them, a husband, a father, but instead their killer. And fallen deputy Philip Campus killed in the line of duty in an attempt to save those lives. He put his life on the line every day to keep us safe. And he died a hero. He died rushing in to rescue people. And he did so and it cost him his life. And the mourning continued over in downtown Bakersfield as community members gathered for the same purpose. This was needed. Uh, the people are hurting, not just only here, but all across this country. And so I felt it's, it's just a good time to come together and pray and to, and to just restore the public trust in law enforcement. Also to pray for those who lost loved ones. And campus's aunt saying that she believes her nephew is in a good place. And he loved what he loved. He loved what he what he did, uh, and um, he would brag to his sister that he was going to go out like that someday, and, and he knew that. But you know, and I, I saw him in that video, or just ran into that with no fear, no fear in him at all whatsoever. And, and that alone just tells me that uh, he's uh, he's in a good place. In Kern County, Kylie Walker, 23ABC, connecting you.